Dee here from Futures Past Boutique, and today I want to show you um, another one of my uh, Victorian finds. It's a Victorian era walk uh, walk it potch, jeez Louise, pocket watch chain that uh, has a mother of pearl fob hanging from it, and it has a little clip that can clip onto somebody's, I guess, buttonhole or a piece of clothing that they're wearing. It has some kind of like a box chain and this lovely mother of pearl charm on the bottom. It may be gold filled, although it's not marked. It's in really good shape, actually. Um, I believe this was a ladies pocket watch chain and fob. Um, and the reason uh, for that is because it's very long. Um, it's like necklace style. And I don't think gentlemen wore necklace style um, pocket watch chains. And I'll show you. Okay, so see how long this is? So I think this part went around a lady's neck. This part may have clipped on her dress. And this part was where you attach the pocket watch to, I believe. Um, bear with me one second. Let me show you. So this has a little clip. And I believe this clip may have attached to the lady's waist. And then the, the pocket watch, let me just turn this a second. And then the pocket watch may have clipped to here. I'm not sure, but she may have, um, I'm gonna hang this actually, give me one second so I can show you the detail. All right, so like a necklace, I believe it went around the neck this way. This hung down the center of her dress. I have it on the wrong side. And then this clipped somewhere. It may, it may have clipped to a button or uh, her, her uh, upper part of her dress or this may have went into her waistband and then this dangled down and this dangled down her side too with the pocket watch. I'm unsure, I'm not an expert on antique jewelry. Um, this is probably late Victorian, early 20th century. Could have went all the way up to the 20s. So I'm gonna flip it over, look at the back, the mother of pearl. It's unmarked, I don't see any maker's marks on it anywhere, but uh, it's uh, really pretty. I like Victorian stuff. I like Victorian Edwardian things and even up to Art Deco. Add to that, I'm pretty much not interested. I like older things. Um, the earlier, the more interested I am. And yeah, this clip is pretty cool. I uh, haven't tried to clip it on anything to see how it works. But unless actually I'm looking at it now, this looks like it went into something probably a waistband of a lady skirt and um this could have went around a neck i'm not sure or this could have slid down inside a buttonhole maybe if anyone knows write in the comments i'd love to know more about these things um trying to learn as much as i can about the things i collect it's not always uh out there you have to know the correct terms to search for and if you just get started collecting a certain thing it's hard to find the correct search terms so I'm learning every day that's what's fascinating about antiques every day there's something new to learn um, it's like never a dull moment it, it, it's like uh, the gift that keeps on giving and it's fun it's a lot of fun and you learn about history there's always something that you can learn about and that's one of my reason why one of my reasons why I have such a passion for antiques and old things because not only are you learning about the object, you're learning about the history of the time and, and uh, what happened during the era that the item was made. And uh, you become much more educated about world matters and things of the past. So I don't like anything from today. Pretty much everything is made in China and it bores me. It's like I like things that were once crafted um, much differently, much more unique uniquely and less mass produced although some of these items were mass produced but you don't see them as much around you know laying around these days so i just love it so uh once again thank you for watching another one of my videos if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button i greatly appreciate it and have a great day and i hope i didn't bore you bye now